How's it going, folks? We're going to uh, switch up the format tonight, and uh, I'm just going to play a pedal for you live and turn knobs and talk a bunch, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, so tonight we've got a TNB1 by Korg. It's part of the One series that came out in the 80s. Really cool, high-quality pedals. Uh, they sort of look like G.I. Joe toys a little bit, but they're built real solid and really good components inside. And uh, this one's a really interesting circuit, so uh, let's just dive right in with uh, my core sound that I'm going to be affecting today. So I'm playing a 70s Strat with uh, Lawler Special pickups in it. This will be our clean sound. So let's turn the pedal on. So as you can hear, it's adding a lot of sparkle and character. Let's turn it off again. Turn it on. Uh, so to my ears, it's sort of... Uh, adding the character uh, that's sort of synonymous with like a Vox amplifier, that sort, of, um, that sort of chime that adds like this punch and clarity to low strings, <laughs> while sort of uh, also having this sort of halo of grit around that. And it sort of just does that to whatever you plug it in, which is a cool, magical thing. Uh, what's unique about this pedal, it's sort of a rare circuit design you don't see too often. It's actually driving the op amp, which is a TL072 in this case. Um, I guess you could say it's similar um, to like a hot cake, or a, that's a circuit that's also used in the Rat and the Distortion Plus, but it's not too common. Uh, so in this one, we actually have the EQ knobs start out flat, and then everything you add is just a boost from there. So you know you could boost tons of low. Or you can boost lots of highs. What's interesting is to my ears, there really isn't a bad sound in this pedal. So let's sort of just set it generically and start to turn up the drive. So we'll go back to that core clean sound. this. Yeah. And then as we uh, pile on the gain, I'll start to turn a little bass back and a little level back to compensate. <laughs> See, now we're sort of in uh, overdrive territory. It's really nice. chimey character happening. Uh, something really ridiculous happens once you turn this gain up right around here. Now it starts to get into distortion. So let's go back to that clean sound so we can hear what's happening here. We'll add this on. So that's the sound of that op amp being driven. Uh, and all the clipping is happening from that TL072, which is really cool. It's a simple design, but it's a, I don't know. To me, it sounds more like uh, what's actually happening when you uh, clip a triode. I don't know. 
And in this way, it's sort of like a tweed in a box, too, the way it sort of gets, like, hairy. <laughs> Now, if we turn the gain all the way up, we are in straight up fuzz destruction territory. cool trick you can do with this is turn the treble all the way up and the bass down and it basically turns into a range master fuzz <laughs> Freaking wild. Let's see how it cleans up with the volume knob. Wow, that's pretty awesome. So I'm on the neck pickup, and uh, this is with it wide open. Basically exploding, but if we roll back halfway, and then a little bit more, basically get into Stevie Ray Vaughan territory. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a really, really pissed off sounding fuss. And back to our clean tone. Nice and peaceful. So to my ears, this pedal really shines as a uh, disgusting, deranged, crazy range master fuzz like this. Then also, when you sort of bring that back and uh, put it back in the uh, sort of clean boost, more transparent area here, I just love the way that sort of voxifies this sound.
overdrive tones that sort of pile on as you turn this up. It's really nice. That's all I've got now that I'm just hitting tons of clams. So I hope you enjoyed this pedal. It's really crazy, and uh, I don't think it's too common. But if you find one, buy it, because uh, it's a great, uh, rich, characterful, clean, and then also a crazy, crazy, crazy fuzz. (laughs) 